Assalamu alaikum guys. In this video, we'll talk about new things that added to Laravel 9.49. Let's start. As you can see here, we open Laravel news and here is our reference. The first thing here added casting of enums as array or collection. Here in my table, for example, I have a table called settings and it contains maybe settings of our application or, or our site. And here I have a column, JSON, represents the post status. Here my enum file post status and one represents active and pending represents inactive and here in my setting model I am casting post status as array so if we open tinker here which be artisan tinker and I will say setting first and the status must be string as array so let's try again in all the way we can represent them like that, right? But now, this data represents enum of epos, so we can display them like that. Here, new collection or new custis class as enum, you can say as collection or as array object. So here, collection class, and like that, it's a collection of post enum status post enum or status it's enum by the way as you can see here right it will be class also now let's check it again and as you can see it returns collection of enum of post states one meaning active two meaning bending right so if you change it to as enum array object this class also it it will display it as array of post status enum let's try again and as you can see here it returns array object of post status so for example we can access to the first status here which is one using index and also we can say value as enum or name to get its name right what if we add another key here that not exists inside our post status like three but here in our post enum we don't have three right so this time let's use it again it throws an error because three is not valid right because it's not exist inside post sets so you must take care about this point the second feature here is seal i prompt so here in my old project this project which we artisan about as you can see this is an old project it i am using 9.42 if I try, for example, to create a new model, which by artisan make model, it throws an error. It's missing the name, so it must be user, for example, or any name. But here in Laravel 9.49, we can make it easy, which be artisan make model. If we forget the name, now it provides the prompt to add it. So, for example, maybe photo and as you can see, we can pass any settings we want. So we can generate model with all factory, request, migration, policy, controller, and everything. And we can also generate the model only itself. And the default, the default value is, as you can see here, is none. So I just want to generate model with cedar. So I will select seven to generate seeds also. Hit enter, as you can see, photo and photo cedar right it also valid for as mentioned here works for any make column in a command so for example i will say here php artisan make controller also it will say what is the name of controller for example photo controller and also displays some of amazing commands so singleton for what model for example it's none and now we'll see our photo controller as you can see here it works perfectly right the next feature here is about testing some more assertion added to json so here for example in my post controller and what if i want to test it that it works correctly using this json assertions here in my test post test and here i will say function 
test new features and I will say here for example this JSON and I say here root posts and I will define it as response and I want to add or test this feature only so here I will say test filter and test new features it has no assertions so let's just try these assertions here the first one is assert json is array so here i will say response assert json is array and the key here is uh, posts right i want to test that this post is array right now to again and it works correctly why because as you can see here this post is array of posts or array of object also there is some another assertions here assert json is object so let's try it response json and post is post this one here and here also to test assert json is object i created fake user and fake post and now if we run it it returns okay because this post is as you can see here is only one post and it's object and even if we dump it here in our test dump as you can see it returns post object right let's move to the next feature which is missing which means a property must not be presented in the post request so here for example in our controller I will use here update post request this request here and inside it I will say user ID must be missing because I will provide or it will be auto generated according to the current authenticated user it's very useful by the way I liked it actually so here if we go again to our endpoint and I will try to send it right user ID let's first send the title only it works correctly but if I try to use user ID here one it must be missing it must not be presented as you can see here in our form request user ID must be missing in a way also it contains some missing of attribute value like required if maybe but here's the opposite also missing unless missing with attribute so for example I will say here missing if this one here if title equal to maybe w right back and test again title equal b w it must be missing if I change the value here it works also missing with title as an example so here if I remove the title actually I must provide the title so here for example missing with name maybe here what works but if I add name here it throws an error because it required or it must be missing if name is provided and you can test it so on also missing with all more than one attribute right last thing here is handling error for HTTP client some new methods added by Wendell Adriel here so we can say here bunch of methods let's open the documentation and let's test it here in our web so here I am sending or consuming our application also as REST API and if I go to our API here I will say return the results directly so if I visit this site it returns post this is the first post here now let's test it so the first one is response through it will throw any error as mentioned here in the documentation if the error is from the client or from the server it will throw errors anyway so let's test it it works because it returns 200 but what if here for example through an error like maybe a port 404 test 
and it throws an error, right? And the second missed here is through if if condition according to condition, and I will mix it with this new method also. If the error is from the user or from the client error, as you can see, the states will be four hundred and up to five hundred. So here, for example, I will say through if and even it's provided through if client error right as you can see here but it's not mentioned in the documentation maybe it's mentioned but i can see it it's not mentioned in the documentation so here i will say for example in my post 405 right send request and i receive an error right but what if i send 500 or 502 now it returns but it has error but it's not thrown because it's a server error not client error so we can also see here through if server error right back and refresh again this time throws an error because the status is more than 500 right we can also specific throwing error or through exception for specific cases or status so through error if my status is 502 like this one if we try through the error if we say here only 500 it will not throw any errors right and the opposite of f is unless so we can see here unless through unless status not equal to for example 403 or 5 refresh back here again the request is bust but what if we say here a port 404 it will throw an error but if i bust 405 as i mentioned in the unless method here refresh it will not throw the error because i added some exception for this status only if the error equal to 405 don't throw anything right some other methods here like successful between 200 and 300 here and also failed client error server error and on error method to do anything in case of error so for example let's try it so here we can say on error and function and i will die and dump error here back and refresh it throws error here but we can also do some redirection maybe and even we can say return try again later refresh so we may say echo as you can see try again later and yeah as you can see here we can execute some immediate logic in case of any error using on error method here is some quick tips about some features that added to Laravel 9.49. If you found it useful, support me by clicking on like, share, and subscribe. See you in next videos.